Good day, everyone. So I want to bring to your attention um, something I received today from Bleep. Uh, they brought to my attention a cutscene from a video game, which was interesting because yesterday, I actually, through my squirreling on YouTube, I had um, stumbled upon uh, this Horizon Zero Dawn game that just came out on the PS4. So um, Bleep actually went through all the cutscenes and I have to say, I mean, uh, this five hour video um, is about two and a half hours in. Uh, it gets quite interesting and becomes quite related to the flat earth. So I want to play that for you guys. And uh, all credit goes to, to Bleep for finding this. And uh, it really points out the indoctrination. I want to start uh, the one cut scene leading up to it. Um, I believe that there's a lot being said here. So just listen to it. Um, you know, see a lot of references to the paradigm that we're in right now, in my opinion, for those that are listening. But take a listen here. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. If you're so smart, why do you know so little after a lifetime scratching around in the dirt? It's not my fault you're bad at what you do. I came to these ruins looking for Elizabeth Sobek, not because of the things she did centuries ago, but because people are trying to kill me right now, today. I've got bigger problems to deal with than your crap. Congratulations. You just graduated from whining to throwing a temper tantrum. I'm sure Elizabeth would be proud. You need to get a grip on yourself and start thinking straight. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? You're insufferable, you know that? Let's get on with this. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and so you'll have to be improved. What is this? That? It's a map. A map of what? Our world. Planet Earth, Eloy. <laughs> it's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The far robots were spreading across. So, and you can see there, you know, they are addressing the flat earth in a way and giving that question out for kids, for children, or even adults who play these games because I'm guilty of that. Um, they're, they're pushing the globe with this uh, question as well, or answer, you know, that should be, just make it obvious because we see a curved shadow during the eclipse, which we already have footage of that shadow coming from um, above the moon coming down across it, which would be impossible. So I'd like them to explain that. But nonetheless, this is a great little piece to find 
um, how they're pushing indoctrination in video games. And again, I want to give a good shout out to Bleep for sending me this link. Um, it does help, you know, and this is what uniting is all about. We work together to push the truth, you know, as I, you know, like Fake News 9, he sent me a link to a website for the 9-11 truth and great stuff. So, you know, and this stuff I like to see and, and I try to push forward when it does come out. So I just want to bring that to your attention and thank you Bleep for sending me that and great work let's keep it up let's keep finding every stitch of evidence we can find that proves the flat earth or the the indoctrination because it's a two-fold kind of argument here and we can look at it from two perspectives don't have to sit there and and i hate that about some of these arguments is that you're pigeonholed you know when really we're the ones questioning the globe the globe right now has to come up with answers there's no in my opinion i will not um, agree to this debating about the flat earth because the flat earth we can't come up with with our models or anything like that until we first get rid of the lie can't pass that lie we can't go and start on the models so we have to divert our efforts to attacking the globe like I said and I will be bringing this up in some further videos um, we got to start attacking these scientific papers as well uh, like the David Lynch one I brought up but anyway, I'll let you guys go. I'm going to have another couple of videos coming out and a stream shortly. So look for that. It will be on my other channel. So, But I'll put a, a day notice video on this channel to let you know that i got a stream coming. But anyway, you guys have a great day.